Today's video is how to extend your throttle control range. So let's get started. Improving your throttle control range, I'm referring to the amount of stick travel that you have for your throttle. You will notice from the factory that when you push the opposite stick down, that you don't have as much downward movement. You can use the references on the outside to see the difference between the two. It's almost one complete hash mark increment. This is set up default this way when you get your radio because it's supposed to give you better rudder control at low throttle because the stick is not completely down. However, some pilots may feel that they want the same feel of the sticks on both left and right when they're completely down. So that being said, what you'll want to do is remove these covers and toggle the switches that are underneath. Now we have the covers removed. You notice the switch at the top and the bottom are both pushed to the left. You want to take these switches and push them to the right and make sure that they go all the way to the right. Sometimes they can stop in the middle. Once both switches are pushed to the right, you will notice that down here on the throttle, when we move the stick up, we have a small dead band. Notice that movement is not doing anything to the throttle position. Once we get a little bit higher, it will pick up and you'll see the number raised here on the throttle percentage. Next step that needs to be done is you need to calibrate your controls. So we go to the bottom right hand corner where it says system settings. Left side in the middle, calibration. Turn off RF. Turn off RF to access. Long press to proceed. Just hold down the proceed button. Now you're at the calibration menu. First thing we're going to do is set up the throttle. Go to the top. Till it stops. Go to the bottom. Till it stops. Then we go to the left. Right. We're going to do rest of our controls the same. You have to recalibrate all of them. So we'll go ahead and do that now. After you go through the complete stick movement, you will notice that this graph on each one of them becomes green. Now we're going to do the sliders on the back. Do the knob. Once that's done, you will notice at the bottom it says save. Now we can go back to the main menu. Throttle high. Lower, Time remaining four minutes. lower the throttle down. And you will notice here on the throttle percentage, it will instantly start to raise as it should. Last step is to put our covers back over the switches and we're done. Just take the little plates, stick them back in place, push them down with your finger, and there we go. Now we've completed the extended throttle range control. I hope you all found this video informative or learned something new today. If you did, go ahead and push like on the video. If you want to see future tutorials, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.